Once upon a time, in a magical land where fairy tales come to life, two beloved princesses, Elsa and Cinderella, decided to take a break from their royal duties and enjoy a day at the beach. It was a bright and sunny morning, and the waves glistened like diamonds under the warm, golden sunday. Elsa, with her icy powers, had created a magnificent ice palace by the shore. It shimmered in the sunlight, and a path made of frosty snowflakes led to a cozy picnic area. Cinderella, wearing her beautiful blue gown, arrived with a wicker basket filled with delicious treats. She wore a wide-brimmed hat to protect herself from the sun. The two princesses set up their picnic under a giant umbrella, which Elsa conjured with a wave of her hand. The breeze from the ocean was cool and refreshing. Seagulls caught in the distance, and children played in the sand nearby. Elsa spread out a magical ice blanket, making sure it was comfortable for both of them. She then used her powers to create a table made of solid ice, upon which Cinderella arranged the delicious food. There were sandwiches, fruit, pastries, and even a little chocolate cake for dessert. Elsa, this is going to be the best picnic ever. Cinderella exclaimed with a joyful smile. Elsa smiled back. I agree, Cinderella. It's wonderful to take a break from our royal responsibilities and simply enjoy a day at the beach. As they began to eat, they chatted and laughed like old friends. Cinderella talked about the wonderful animals she had met when she was at the seaside and how she loved to listen to the sound of the waves crashing on the shore. Elsa, on the other hand, shared stories about her adventures in the icy kingdom of Arendelle and how she had tamed her magical powers. After finishing their meal, Elsa decided to create a little ice sculpture. With a few swift movements of her hands, she crafted a stunning ice seashell that sparkled in the sunlight. Cinderella watched in amazement and clapped her hands in delight. Well, Elsa, you are so talented with your powers, Cinderella said. Elsa blushed with pride. Thank you, Cinderella. It's just a small part of what I can do. As the day went on, the two princesses explored the beach. They built sand castles, collected seashells, and even played in the waves. Elsa used her powers to create an icy slide that went down to the water, and they had a fantastic time sliding into the sea. They met a friendly crab who introduced himself as Sebastian and danced with a playful dolphin that had come to say hello. The sea creatures of this enchanted beach seemed to be as happy as the princesses, as the sun began to set, casting a warm and orange glow over the horizon. Cinderella and Elsa sat down on a blanket to watch the sky. Elsa conjured a spectacular display of northern lights, filling the sky with vibrant colors. Cinderella was enchanted by the breathtaking sight. The two princesses finally returned to their picnic area, where they enjoyed hot cocoa and toasted marshmallows over a magical campfire Elsa created. The warmth of the fire, combined with the beauty of the beach at night, created a cozy and memorable atmosphere. Under the starry night sky, Elsa and Cinderella felt a deep sense of friendship and contentment. They realized that even though they came from different kingdoms and backgrounds, they could share a day of fun, laughter, and magic. Thank you, Elsa, for this amazing day, Cinderella said with gratitude in her eyes. Elsa smiled warmly. Thank you, Cinderella, for making it so special. I hope we can do this again soon. With that, the two princesses bid the beach a fond farewell and returned to their respective kingdoms, knowing that the memories of their day by the sea would always be cherished. And so, in the magical land where fairy tales come to life, the bond between Elsa and Cinderella grew stronger, proving that friendship knows no boundaries, even for two princesses from different worlds.